Hey there, Concho Valley. Meteorologist Chris Boone in the afternoon here with your midday weather update for Sunday. And we're starting again talking about the snow that's been uh, for moving through the area for much of the day today. Again, we're starting to see uh, it start to trickle down, but again, it's been pretty heavy at times. Still looking at the satellite and radar. Again, the bulk of that snow has moved off towards the east, but we still have at least another couple of hours left before we'll finally get rid of uh, that snow. Looking at downtown right now, off towards the north with some some daylight out there. Again, temperatures already down to the single digits. Eight degrees in downtown San Angelo with those northwest easterly winds rather at 13 miles per hour. And again, that's going to help to add on to those wind chill factors uh, with those breezier winds. Single digits for much of the Concho Valley. Eight here in San Angelo. Nine in Eden. Same with El Dorado and Brady. Uh, some double digits along the I-10 corridor, but it won't last very much longer as we continue to see temperatures drop throughout the overnight hours. Breezier conditions, wind speeds again in the teens with gusts up to 29, even 30 miles per hour again in Brady and Menard with gusts up to 29. We're still seeing those gustier winds and that's what's adding to uh, that feels like temperature of the wind chills getting into the negative teens and even negative 8 for us here in San Angelo. Again, very cold that's why we have both the winter storm uh, warnings as well as the wind chill warnings and that continues until tomorrow at noon tonight again we expect to get down to an overnight low of one degree again widespread snow that will start to taper off in the western counties first and then begin to stop here in the in san angelo by about midnight and then by early morning hours for some of our eastern and southeastern counties Tomorrow we still could see some early snow flurries again as you're getting uh, getting up and starting your day, but we're still going to hang on to the cold. Uh, the temperatures only getting into the upper teens, maybe some lower 20s, and again we'll be watching for those northerly winds with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. It's not as strong as what we saw today, um, but it won't take a whole lot to uh, really make those breezier conditions. Uh, make it feel even colder. Snow totals again expected for uh, the remainder of the night. Not looking at a whole lot. We're looking at uh, mostly Sterling City, Big Lake, and Robert Lee done uh, for the bulk of the snow. Uh, we could still see a little bit here in San Angelo, but we still have plenty of snow left for some of our southeastern counties. Uh, places like Junction and Mason could still see a couple more inches uh, before it's all said and done. So as we kind of time it out again, going through the overnight hours, uh, temperatures will continue just to fall and then by early morning hours that's when most of the snow has moved off towards the east and then things will be relatively quiet going into uh, Tuesday and before we start to watch for our next system that comes through that's going to be bringing us those possible uh, freezing rain, some sleet as well as some snow uh, as we go into overnight Tuesday and into Wednesday morning. Those temperatures are going to get warmed up and a little bit closer to freezing and that's what's going to have those chances uh, for that freezing rain. So again a lot to digest, a whole lot going on and a lot can change fast so um, kind of put out a reminder the Concho Valley homepage app. You can always download it, have the forecast right there on your phone or any smart device available on the Google Play or on the App Store. So again I'll have your full weather forecast right here on KLST tonight at 10.